Hello YouTube. <clears throat> Boy, my voice has been terrible. It is about freezing out. Last night, today is Saturday, last night we had a freezing drizzle from the afternoon till last night. So 8 inch, eighth of an inch. You can do this. I always mess up worse on Sunday videos. Eighth of an inch of ice. And it's nasty. We got a blizzard possibly coming in. Believe it or not. Okay. This board was. I get to write. Sorry. I ripped this on my saw to get this with. My new saw. I did pretty good. Uh, one time it kind of bound up. Uh, if you watch my video on that saw, there's a piece in the back where your guard comes out. A piece, it, it kind of was wedging itself back there a little bit. So there's kind of a ripple in here from the jigsaw blade somewhere. But, for what I use it for, uh, you can lay a straight edge on it. I have several. I bought a piece of aluminum uh, for my knife sharpener thing, and this is a one inch wide piece. I bought it just for a straight edge case I never use it. I mean, it's not the world's most accurate straight edge, but for what I do, uh, kind of down here, there's kind of a dip, kind of went. And that was kind of when I first started. It kept biting, I think, or at the end. It kind of got, it was getting snagged everywhere. But I figured that's like 32 inches running that through there. So that's kind of over the limit. I try to say, try to keep your boards down around two feet, be a little bit better. Anyway, quick look how we put this together. We just have some screws in here, countersunk. We have a clearance hole, which means it's bigger than the threads. And then we have a pilot hole, which is smaller than the, uh, the size of the shank without the threads. Think you know what I mean. Uh, Pre-drill your hole, you're going to put the wood in it. Okay, we're going to sand this. I want to make this long video today. Sand this, pick what side we want. Uh, we're not going by the color of wood because we're going to stain it. Then we're going to put quarter inch plywood in here. Okay. Make like a picture frame. It's going to be like tramp art, folk art, hobo art, whatever you want to call it stuff. It's not going to be a professional picture frame. I was not going to try to make no 45 degree cuts on that little saw. With these short pieces, I kind of looked at it. It was like it's almost impossible with something this short. You know, anything even like this, like, it, it, it just didn't, I'm not used to doing it. I'm used to having the miter box, like when I was a kid, where you laid it down the box, put the saw in it. And that's still not accurate. I hate quarter inch, uh, 45 degree, whatever. You know what I mean, 45 degree angle. Uh miter cuts whatever i don't like picture frames like that door frames in a house nothing back on track we're getting confused quarter inch piece of wood here that won't be glued it'll kind of float but we are going to slack everything we'll be back later to talk about the can of slack i got which i think i'll like better than that polyurethane junk i talked about before it's this ain't perfectly flat it's kind of twisted we don't care we act about it long enough uh of course, it's Sunday in the shop. You know, I tend to make my videos a little bit longer. And we come back, we might come down a little bit more. Notice this towel faded. It was on the dash my truck folded up. So the sun faded. See that faded stripe in there? Sure you can. Anyway, stay on topic. Get this sanded. We'll come back, see what it looks like. Okay, this is about a half inch deep on each side. I went three eighths. Yeah. Like I said, there's, there's my screws. So this is kind of floating there. I will put one small brad nail in the back. So this doesn't move around. It could still expand and contract. Uh, when you make cover doors, this is usually not nailed in there. I'll have a nail in there because it's picked. I don't want it wobbling around when I'm going to spray it. So we are going to sand this next. This is all nice and sanded. Was better than this side. Still the nasty look to it while the boards rippled. So we want to use this side. We're not worried about defects. We want this thing to look old. We can take and pound on with a hammer and beat it up and make it look old. So just a cheapy little piece of art. Kind of give you an idea of how far that goes in the each side. And it's kind of warped. The frame's kind of warped. Uh, like I said, it's old used stuff you'll see a warp you'll just see a warp in. we want it to look old so stay tuned 
when you see it again, we'll have this stained, okay? We'll have this sanded, and we're trying to figure out what kind of picture to put on it. We may not get this finished today. We, we're still for some little picture. We need to use some Elmer's glue. We had trouble with that spray adhesive. When we put the uh, clear gloss stuff on, it kind of lifted the glue. We did an experiment. So we're thinking about Elmer's glue letting it dry overnight. And then we'll be back to talk about the shellac that I got that I'm going to use. We already went on a rant about the polyurethane. I think I found something better for my arts and crafts. So stay tuned. This video is getting too long. I'm just rambling on too much. Okay, this is a couple light coats. We just got this stuck on the back, not in the groove. We did make sure to stain that. Just so you can see the contrast between the two. Then we'll move this out of the way. We decided to put this to the top, these defects in the wood. Kind of looks better. Plus, this is not exactly square. And if I eyeball it and I look like this, uh, this side looks like it leans in at the top. So I'm just going what looks pleasing to the eye. Kind of hard to get this in frame here. I jacked the camera up some. There. I know I have a habit of being too close. I make close up videos. I've got probably a couple of fingerprints on the side. More close. Got carried away. The sander slipped off over there. My mistake. Screws aren't exactly whatever. You're never going to see the screws. It's going to be on the wall. You're not going to go look at the bottom and see them. There you go. This has been sanded. So we have no idea what it looks like with clear. We're off to find some kind of picture to put on here. And like I said, we're not going to use the spray adhesive. Uh, next, we'll talk about the adhesive and the shellac stuff I got. So stay tuned. We'll come back for that little chat. Okay, a little chat about this stuff. This had the big white button on it. I either forgot to turn it upside down to clear it, because you can clear this can. I did something that plugged. This is off a regular cheap, cheap spray can. Probably a dollar store or something. Cheap spray can. And it saved me, because this can is over three quarters full. Uh, Ten bucks. Pretty spendy, huh? But if it lasts me a year, or well. Okay. I like this stuff I used. I probably showed you probably seen something where I sprayed clear with it before. It stinks really bad. I mean, it really smells like lacquer to me, what lacquer was. But I do like it. It's real quick. This stuff I didn't like. Uh, it was all gooey. It's not, it's semi gloss. I understand that. It's not real shiny. I'll show you on a board I sampled. I didn't like how long it took to dry and how it stinks. Here's what I found this is all made by the same company, people. See that? You're not getting what you think you're getting. I want to buy a can of this in amber where you brush it on. It's probably $18 a quart. Uh, I like this stuff. Instead of taking a bunch of pictures, you can pause on that. See any picture frames, toys. You see this? It's got a little wooden toy. I like this stuff. It doesn't have a whole lot of odor. Okay, now we're going to show you a sample. This is not quite a week old. Okay. Here's a pretty heavy coat of the polyurethane, abbreviated PU, because that's what smells, and it still stinks. Can you see where it wasn't sprayed, where it is sprayed? I mean, it's not bad if you're better at putting it on probably than me. Okay, here's the shellac. There's just a little bit that hasn't been sprayed. See it up here? Now, these weren't sanded, just grabbed a piece of wood. So it's not sanded, so it's that color. I like this. It's shiny enough. It's clear. It's shiny enough. It has it dried in just a matter of minutes. I mean, really fast because I probably had 75 plus degrees in here, and I had it right over there near the stove, up in the air on my vice. It's a good spot to dry stuff. Uh, I found parts off the damper of my stove that I painted to get them dry real fast. I like this stuff. This, this is good enough for what I'm doing, like for this picture frame. So there you go, my opinion on the spray. So I think I'm really going to start to like this stuff. Uh, all found at a Menard store. You know, I put it on, I don't get paid to show any product. This you can turn upside down and spray it to clear it. Uh, yes, 
turn upside down and spread the claret. And look, old school top. That's I'm glad I thought of that before we just got out of here. Look, old school top. Spray top. That's another reason I like it. Unlike this other, might as well show you people don't talk about. That's what same thing was on my gorilla boo and it clogged. And you're not gonna clog with a sewing needle. I tried I tried soaking it even acetone. I tried rubbing alcohol and ass. It was too far plug. So the stuff I don't like. Maybe somebody's used this, they could tell me how to do it. Uh, lay it perfectly flat, don't get carried away. I have another product I'm gonna show before we leave today that I bought. I have to go in the house and get it because I'm keeping it at room temperature. So Either way, we'll be back. I'd like to find a picture so you can see this finished product. If not, I'll make a video on making the picture frame. Because we don't want a real long video this Sunday. So let me go get the other neat stuff that I found for hobby use. And we'll be back. Okay. While well, the picture frame is drying. Be a surprise picture on that. Uh, this is 20 bucks. It's a quart. So each bottle is a half a quart that's inside of here. I could pull it out and show you, but they're just two bottles. This is like for doing countertops, bar tops. And there's a few videos on YouTube if you want to go find them. Uh, one gentleman compared this to a higher dollar stuff. They're probably 30 some dollars. This was 20 bucks. Uh, like $60 in a big gallon size, whatever. Yeah, that quart means both bottles together. But uh crystal clear we're going to try to make like some thin but we're not going to make it real thick this ain't the kind of resin that you can like put in a square cube paperweight but you could probably go an eighth of inch thick uh no problem i could uh what videos i watched uh people put multiple coats i'd be really brave if i ever wanted to do a coffee table and pour eight inch thick and spread it out and everything and and hope they didn't have no problems you get out to bubbles with a heat gun and they say if you're really into interest in this you can Start looking up the videos like I did. Uh, I just seen it in the store. And I thought I'd seen it before. So I went back and reviewed. Tell you there's just two bottles there. We have to get some small cups. They don't have to be graduated. We can put it equal. Uh, I will be following directions. Exactly what they tell you. Because they'll tell you to pour equal amounts. Mix it in a cup. Then pour that into another clean cup. Because you know when you mix stuff you're going to have one part of it up on the sides or something so they want you to pour it in another last cup and you're stirring for like six minutes twice you got like 12 minutes of stir time so i will be making small projects with this so stay tuned i won't even take a picture of this if you're interested you can pause on it and like i said another product i don't get paid i just like showing what i find in a store and what i use for my hobbies and stuff but I think I'll have fun playing with this. We're going to start out very small. We're going to start out like probably mixing just two ounces together and playing with it and maybe put a penny on something and coat it over some little mold. I have like a silicone mold. If I can find it. Sure I can. This came with that donut maker or whatever pancake maker thing I had. So this is silicone. I need to wash it out. I may experiment and put it in silicone because I've seen a guy make some little Valentine's hearts in a little silicone mold. So we'll clean this up real good. We may pour like the bottom of this like maybe, maybe half inch thick. Make some little paperweight or something. So we just have something to experiment for a mold to pour it in. So this will go back in the house. Keep this at room temperature. If it freezes, you're going to end up warming it up for a day or more. So. Stay tuned. This is going to be too long a video again this week. But that's how we do it on Sunday, I guess. Okay, the secret's out. I thought I'd show the first main I made. I hope I don't lose subscribers because people think that I'm a big wealthy guy. I'm more like Jed Clampett. It's still a little wet. Uh, had a problem with lifting. Can you see the corner lifting? Because I trusted that spray adhesive again. Uh, I don't think it reacted that bad with a slack. I just think that I didn't have it sprayed good enough on the corner. Because I had a lot of excess over here. Because it kind of stained through the paper. So, I thought I was okay. But, I want you to see what it looks like. 
I'm sure it'll dull down in time, but that's two coats. And you're going to get some orange peel. I am not a body man. I did try to spray like this to get back in the corners and turn it. So there's two very light coats on top of here. It's more heavier out here, but there's two thick coats on the frame itself. So there you go. We'll snap a picture of that. See if we can get up here. There you go. That's it for this week. You can find these on the internet if you look. Uh, there is some name on there. You could zoom it in there. I got it given to me at a county fair. Some guy advertising. He probably had a sticker on the back. The back shows uh, some whatever. I can't even tell you. It's a picture citing a declaration of independence or something. So this is not legal tender. It's, it's fake. It's phony. So thanks for watching. When we get the light right here, we will snap a couple photos of this thing. That might even be better. Thanks for watching. We'll look forward to seeing you next week.